This video will cover exactly what happened to the six most notable creeps from a Hanson vs Predator. This video will cover exactly what happened to the six most notable creeps from Hanson vs Predator. That's what I just said! Subscribe to Sunny V2, uh, my friends. Today we're watching uh, Where Are the Chris Hansen Predators Today? I hate this show. It makes me really uncomfortable. I used to like watching it as a young man to see people um, lose their lives in front of them, watch the horror, watch the horror emanate, watch their mortal coil unwind. I like that. Begin by talking about the math tutor Mike Manzi, tutor, who's had his Mike life Manzi. pretty much ruined as a result of the I'm Chris Hansen, No You're Not episode. Yes. After arriving at the sting house, Mike bumped into crazy. Chris immediately I think this guy trying to make the was. excuse that he was simply making sure that the 13 year old girl was safe inside her house. Good After guy. desperately attempting to leave, Mike He's was arrested, taken back to the police station and interrogated station. for approximately 35 minutes. After which the episode ends with the explanation that because Mike's discussion was pretty clean prior to the meetup, he was only sentenced to three years probation, meaning that he avoided any time in prison wow. and wasn't registered good. on any unsavory lists. Three years probation, that's good, right? I was gonna say, did this guy just get off scot-free? Let's f***ing hope not. But I'm sure because of the show, his life was absolutely ruined in the court of public opinion which is good. A conversation was leaked oh. with one of the show's editors who explained that the head of security, Ron Knight, was actually Mike Manzi's uncle and that there is a part that never aired where Manzi is insisting tonight to let him go because he's known Manzi since birth. Whoa. This is apparently why Manzi made such an effort to convince the crew to let him leave peacefully, yet his uncle he's told so Manzi the best looking. thing he could do is go through the garage and remain silent, which Manzi obviously didn't do. Yep, As a result of the episode, Mike now hates his uncle, which has more than likely led to that's the decline of Manzi's other family relationships. However, the most interesting thing hate revealed in the message well. exchange was that Manzi was an avid watcher of TCAP back in the day, which explains why he recognized Chris Hansen oh, immediately. Yeah, Mike has so since been crazy. found on a felony dating site. Hold on a second. No way. Felony dating site. <laughs> These are not felons. These are not felons. I'd be afraid to do a joke on this thing. I get shanked if I meet up with somebody. Damn. Who stated that he gets recognized very often Ooh, and that, that Mike sucks. actually seems like a very chilled out dude. On Chris Hansen's podcast, <laughs> yeah, sure Chris explained that Mike be. is no longer working in education. Chris as far Hansen's as we weird. know, he is not tutoring or teaching anywhere. As far as we know. As far as we know, as he is not tutoring or know. teaching anywhere. He lives with his parents. Which would explain two reasons recently surfaced photos oh, of Mike him. working in a retail Michael. job representing looks a pretty, pretty significant fall looks since healthy. tutoring for some of Connecticut's wealthiest families. <laughs> since, since tutoring for some of Connecticut's wealthiest families. How's that guy get a damn tutoring job like that? I'd be so scared. If I, if I hired that fellow, I would straight up just judge a book by its cover. If it's someone near my kids, I'm judging a book by its fucking cover. Why would you let that guy? He literally looks like a sex offender. And he's in the room with us right now. However, Mike still got off lightly yeah, well, uh, in comparison to John Dupee, who, the, as a result of his appearance on the show, has creepy. now become homeless. That guy John walked into the, the sting house without saying a word and was so creepy that simply standing next to him was enough to terrify the decoy. Yet she apparently had nothing to worry about as he stated that he was only- Look at his hair. After revealing that I John was simultaneously talking to more than one minor, he that was arrested, amazing, interrogated, man. and given a notice to appear in court, where he'd be trolled and heckled by the attendees as he Good. pleaded guilty. And oh, the judge I heard about this. The case had to order the crowd to be quiet, to be orderly. Because he was getting, he was getting... Tomatoed. Oh yeah, man. Not not good. Not a good prison sentence. If you if you're one of these people, not good to go to prison. What do you what do you say we bring back uh, tarring and feathering, guys? What do you think about that? Tarring and feathering, and then maybe um drawing and quartering. Just kidding. That's a joke. We shouldn't do that, but. Braveheart's a good movie. Only four months into his prison term, John's Dupee. brother and sister were both killed in Ooh. a car accident, which happened on That's the very sad. same street where the sting house was located. And Ooh. in case losing both of his siblings wasn't bad oh, enough, so there sad. are unconfirmed anecdotes that John was also oh. disowned by his parents. After unconfirmed the anecdotes, don't give a shit. He was released from prison on the 24th He's of a... July 2018, serving just two years out of his eight year sentence. Yet after what? being released, John was forced to register on a public offender list, which displayed his address as a Connecticut home. Homeless shelter. See, how can there be mandatory minimums with drugs, but then someone who does something that's actually egregious, like try to meet up with a child, a child predator can get out of a two, an eight-year sentence in two years. Yeah! 
Only two months after moving out of the homeless shelter, John violated his probation Good. in an unspecified way <laughs> and was sent back to prison for another year and two months. What a Since his release man. in December 2022, John has been residing in a shelter for recovering addicts. He looks pretty healthy, honestly. He looks healthier in that new photo in the damn recovering addict thing than he did when he got busted by Chris Hansen. What the fuck? Joshua was the New York plumber who locked the door behind him plumber. after entering the sting house, <laughs> stating that his biggest nightmare was ending up on a Chris Hansen episode. Oh after Josh God, comes out of the bathroom, Chris is already there waiting for him. Yeah, you are. He looks like Jared Fogel, ironically enough. Josh is unbelievably honest, He's laying out look. his intentions immediately. After being taken back to the station, Ooh, he'd incredibly admit that this wasn't the first time that he'd met up with someone underage, which eventually helped the court to secure- Oh, I just love underage people meeting up with them. My name is Plumber. He was very remorseful and would happily take back his crazy Russian oh. ex, then go back to that house with Chris Hansen. On his really bad days, what? he would talk about how he doesn't want to die alone and that he knows that he'll never have a true. semblance of a normal life again. That's true. Totally deserved. Absolutely deserved. Rest in, rest in, uh, uh, rest in piss. Also, uh, pack watch Joshua Colon. Palmer from Chris Hansen vs. Predator. However, this wouldn't be the last time that Josh oh, ended back. up behind bars. I love the animation. In September 2020, approximately one year after being released from his first prison what stint, his... a post was made to the TCAP forum stating, Joshua Clone was convicted yesterday after spending a few months in prison for a probation violation. There's forums of Chris Han to catch a predator. So they keep tabs on all these people. That's why there's all this information out there. They're just people who are obsessed with them. They're their own very own lol cows. Interesting. Apparently he wasn't allowed to have any pictures of any children on his phone. His sister shared a picture Ooh. of his niece in a chat that he was in and he got locked up for it. His Ooh. explanation. Interestingly, if you now search Josh's name on an inmate Ooh. search engine, it states that Joshua Cologne is or was recently an inmate currently at the Connecticut Department of Corrections, <sighs> so CTDOC. Imagine that being like CT. Leading Imagine that being something you can't do. Yeah, man, I can't, I can't be within 100 yards of a school and I also am not allowed to have pictures of children on my phone. So. Well, what happened to the wealthy accountant who Chris recognized from the train? His I name was Charles Lawrence, very well. and after walking into the sting house, so the following creepy. exchange occurred. No, Chris. Hey, Charles. What are you doing? But this is the first time I've caught anyone who I know. Now, this is the first time I've caught anyone who I know. Thank you, Chris, for speaking very weird. Love the accent. Where are you from? Maine. Charles was arrested and taken back to the station for an interview. Throughout the interrogation, Good. Charles made the hilarious claim that because of his poor eyesight, he read the decoy's age as 18 instead oh, of 13. My. <laughs> 18. Well, I got scratched. My glasses were fixed. Oh what my the fuck? god. Is it 18? I swear to god. I would never, ever in my entire life meet a 13-year-old. However, oh, the yeah, judge right. wasn't sure, dumb buddy. enough to buy this excuse. <laughs> Imagine so he sentenced them. Lawrence to two years in prison, years which he'd served between us. June 2016 and June 2018. Oh, yeah. Whilst in prison, the Association of International Certified Professional Ooh, Accountants under which Lawrence job, was employed bro. confirmed that Mr. That's Lawrence's AICPA people. membership was terminated effective May 25th, no! 2017 because of a final judgment of conviction for a crime punishable by imprisonment for more than one year. That guy's creepy, man. That, I can't imagine just seeing someone and then holding a sting and then having that guy show up to the sting. Someone you just vaguely know. Oh my God. How many people are in Fairfield, Connecticut? Because that's kind of where... Fairfield, Connecticut. 62,000? Okay, so it's like a city, right? But I guess it's in, like, with Bridgeport and Trumbull and all that, and and uh, probably near uh, uh, whatever the big city in Connecticut is. New Haven, yeah. I was gonna say, is, if they're doing this in a small town, they're gonna run out of people soon. I guess they did, though, because it's, it's shut down. Well, what happened? Why did it shut down again? I forget. Plenty of dirt on the now infamous Stephen Buchanan, who Stephen gained Buchanan. notoriety for showing up this to the sting creepy. house with duct tape, a camera, and various weapons Very in his car. Creepy. This was extra terrifying as Extremely after arriving in the house, scary. he refused to enter and rather tried to coax the decoy into getting into his vehicle. Do you want to come in? Do you want to go? Can you just like come in and we can chat for a little bit? What do you want to do? I'll do it. You guys some food if you want. You want to show you around? Can you watch a movie? Hold on. I'm not going to the after being confronted Dude, by Chris, so Buchanan creepy. tries to blame his depravity on the PTSD he got during his military time in Iraq. Right. Although despite this Probably impediment, didn't even Buchanan serve in the military. still served three years in prison. Or after which fans like of the show began to notice that the story he shared with Chris wasn't entirely accurate. A user by the name of Bud1985 oh, no. took to Reddit in a post reading, Stephen Buchanan, this took me a good hour of searching through <gasps> old pics from Iraq. 
rock. Oh, was he I like a found it. tank mechanic? This turd. But continued in the comments by stating, when he was active duty, he was driver. a tank mechanic. And how do I know oh, this? Yo! He was my tanks mechanic. He would do maintenance on it in the motor pool every Monday. He never went on a single mission. He never seen a minute of combat. He may have been through some yeah. modifier, but that's it. It pissed me off so bad when I heard him blame it on PTSD. That's awesome. A purely evil human being. Look at this fucking guy. He looks like, he looks evil. I mean, he looks like he's an evil guy. No offense to anyone who looks like him, but... Jeff Sokol, who became arguably the most this notable guy. predator in Chris Hansen history after bringing a pepperoni views. pizza to the Fairfield Stinghouse. I remember this one. People asked for the the the, the Sokol special uh, from this pizza place because it was it went, it was so infamous. History, as Jeff seems so relaxed about the confrontation that he was only what able to focus guy. on his dinner. I want to know a little bit more about you first. Okay, you first. After Jeff Can spent 16 minutes pizza. demolishing his pizza, he'd offer oh Chris a God. slice on the way out. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good. Thank you. And even you after being slice? taken back to the station, <laughs> Jeff maintained the attitude that hey, he man. hadn't done anything wrong, slice, according to a source who was at the hey, station bro. with him. He kept his Cool. He's pretty healthy and bad. He was in the office. Get out of here. What the fuck did they record this? Really take care of his While Jeff seemed confident that he huh. wouldn't receive any charges, this didn't alter his reality, oh, his as yeah. after going through three different lawyers, he'd be sentenced to two and a half years in prison Ooh, beginning good. on the 27th of May 2017. Good. Whilst locked up, the Jeff Sokol episode became so good. popular that fans of the show good. tracked down the restaurant from which the pizza yes. had been ordered Planet and began pizza. to visit the restaurant asking for the exact Jeff same Sokol pizza ordered. that Jeff had gone. The restaurant has since had hundreds of positive reviews, many of which suddenly referencing the Jeff Sokol incident. And according to an email <laughs> sent to us by luck. a fan, the restaurant had to eventually ask people to stop asking. The restaurant has since had hundreds of- This is Jeff speaking. I had the most amazing pepperoni pizza that wasn't much bigger than a small one with an orange juice. You can never ever forget the orange juice, people. It's the perfect performance enhancing juice along with a certain pill that I need to take for the pole vault event that I was going to do with my youthful lady friend. I didn't know that two and a half hours of driving to her house would lead to seven years of not being able to drive at all. What rotten luck. I hope the kitchen of this big house is going to be able to bake this pizza for me again. Don't forget the OJ. Hugs. Jeff moved in with his parents in blank. It seems like he comes from a pretty affluent family, so he probably oh, just mooches sucks. from his parents and stays that's low key. Yeah. The most recent photo of him comes from early 2021, which unfortunately marks the final piece of information we have on Jeff Sokol, because despite being one of the show's most notable people, he certainly kept one of the lowest profiles. Interesting. What a bizarre world we live in. This is crazy. I, what great entertainment. Jesus.